So I made a video about five talking points about being a musician. So this is part two of the same topic. So I'm going to share five more things about having a music career. The very first one is no one will take you seriously until you blow up, if you blow up. The fact is with a music career, not a lot of people really know how the ins and outs are and the only form of success most musicians and non-musicians know is if you blow up on the charts and you're on radio and you're more or less famous. But the actual truth is there are multiple pathways to a career in music and I'd like to give you an example as a mechanical engineer. So when you're a mechanical engineer, the typical route would be something like going to university, getting your bachelor degree, and then going and working and then from there you're employed and generally start buying assets or assets some things like cars and houses that's what most people know and all of a sudden you're already considered successful with mechanical engineering and and all the other traditional methods of employment most people understand that pathway. As a musician, your pathway is not so set in stone and it can change because at the end of the day, you are now an entrepreneur. So you can decide how to go about making your money and your money is not consistent and you are actually in charge of this career. And as I mentioned before, not a lot of people know about this. The fact that music is also intellectual property, it's a different type of asset and most people cannot relate to it. So in a nutshell, no one can take you seriously Seriously, simply because they do not understand how it is to be a musician. And number two is no one actually cares. Generally as humans, we actually try and impress people with our lives. Simply look at Instagram and Facebook and all the other social media platforms. These are basically highlight reels of people's lives and we try and portray the best things. So when we get awards, so when we get high streams, etc., etc., we post that. But the truth is no one actually cares except for a small handful of people, i.e. your close friends and family so you actually just have to accept that no one actually cares about you and more or less no one actually cares about your music until you actually blow up and force them to actually care about your music and number three is you'll have to learn to be comfortable alone as a musician you spend a lot of time doing your own research trying to figure out what on earth is happening and most of the time you kind of have to do this alone or in some kind of deep work frame work so I highly suggest that you just learn to be comfortable alone or you get a partner who is okay with you being there but somewhat not being there at the same time the fourth thing is most people that you know immediately will not like your music yes your friends and family will say they support it by streaming downloading etc and sharing but the truth is they are most likely not your true fans your true fans will find your music and keep on listening without you promising prompting them to listen to it. And the simple fact is the people that are your close friends know you too much to actually have that. You know with an artist that you don't know, there's a mystique and aura that you have. I wonder what they're doing. I wonder what they do for fun. That type of thought pattern. But now if your close friend listens to your music, they already know all these things about you. So they don't have that edgy, I wonder what this person is like in real life version of you. So that's why most likely your close friends will never actually become your true fans saying that means even though in the beginning phases you want your friends to listen you just want them to kind of build on a small platform so you have some people that are listening but you want to transition from my friends listening to true fans who are totally random and don't really know you too well to listen to your music without being prompted too much and personally and number five last but not least most people will not know how to support you a lot of people know a lot of musicians everyone knows a few musicians and most of the time we think that we can support them by just listening to their streams but musicians are known for having bad marketing strategies and that is probably why most people don't know how to show support saying that means that you actually have to prompt your listener your audience your fans and most likely your friends on how to support you this means constantly being alive on social media and prompting them hey guys i've released something this is how you can support and tell them one thing every time you ask for support focus on one thing don't tell them about multiple things else you confuse the audience because it's all of a sudden too much to support you make it simple when you're requesting something just do one thing if you want to know five other talking points about having a music career watch this video